<laughs> I don't think you understand. Doing a shitty accent doesn't get you out of things. I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> Over here questioning themselves, like why I flopped. Mm, with my homie Kevin Sanchez, he got an arm for a cock. <laughs> <laughs> this is dumped up and dying. dying. We're Thief. going up stocks. <laughs> oh my god, that was unbelievably good. Dumped up and dying, blowing up stocks. Blowing up, going up, stocks. going up, going stocks. up, like stocks. Come on, son. You don't understand the lyricism. Come on, Simon? son. You don't know what time it is, bro. You know My bad, boys. I wasn't ready to rock. You Yo, know yes, you were, bro. You always ready, dog. <laughs> this is Dope Dope and Dying, the Sunday, Sunday morning smoke, smoke show. show. We are over here again. <laughs> we in here again. We are. You know what I mean? We, we doing are. a fam app again. You know why? Because we everywhere. They ain't never there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, talk that shit. Fuck around, they don't yeah. even want to come around here. Don't see the vision Excluding soon. nobody. Look what we embodied. Oh, I'm mm. still rapping. I'm still rapping. <laughs> I didn't know that. Rapping, I didn't know. We really ran soon. the comedy streets. Mm. These no. motherfuckers right. couldn't even get All on right. a feet. No, Today, no more, guys. My this, son. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is, th- guys. This episode comes out Skank Fest weekend. Skank Fest, baby. If you're listening to this and you're at Skank Fest, well, I mean, what are you doing? You should be hanging out with us, smoking weed, doing drugs. Uh-huh. But if you're not at Skank Fest and you couldn't make it, or if you don't know what a Skank Fest is, Skank Fest is the. Would you, would you want to say the biggest comedy festival? It's the best comedy festival. It is the be- one of the biggest. It don't and gotta be definitely oh. the best. It's definitely one of the biggest because it's and like definitely the best. Theaters are being filled I sh- up. I'd say it's like a big under biggest underground comedy event festival. You can't even, call it, you can't even call it un- underground when it's because JFL is like thousands mainstream. of tickets sold. This October is like, 12th, yeah, but that is that's indie. Oh, it's the biggest indie comedy festival. Yes, it is. That shit is indie, and that's what makes that shit dope. Bro. This is what I like about Skankfest, bro. It's a bunch of degenerates. Who who have regular jobs, who are just like trying it. to make it through life, and they're like, you know what we need? We need three days of mayhem. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. The first time I went to Skankfest, I went with the great Lee Sayat of the Church of hey, What's you Happening the one Now. In New York, right? I went to the one in New York, uh, at, Bar- 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 some weird <laughs> venue. <laughs> That uh, did some bitch ass shit later, but we 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 will not discuss. <laughs> they try to they try to shun the Wait, Skank Fest Skank name. Right yeah, they, speaking of Skank Fest, guys, shout out to my sponsors, uh, Chief, Dope Dub, um, um, Team Rattlesnake. Guys, also go, don't forget Vapor DNA, and then Zia at Shore and Ray Farms. Shout out to all these motherfuckers. Thank you for sort of pouring my Zionist brother, Dylan J. <laughs> rub, it, rub it on the tip. Rub it on the tip. Don't you forget it. Rub it on the tip. Don't you that's fucking what, forget you it. That's what, which one is that? Rub I, it no, on that that's the rattlesnake oil from Zia Extraordinary Farm. Yeah, yeah. Rub it on the tip. Don't you forget it. I like that. Mm-hmm. Make sure to find me at Skankfist for your very own vial of rattlesnake. Yo, can I say something? Free. One of us got to try that before we fuck. I'm a fucking copyright dude. Who says I have it? I haven't. Have you put it on the tip? <laughs> I never Moving quit. up. Never put quit. It on, the tip, on the tip, never quit. Never quit. Never when quit. He, when he put it on the tip, he to, never quit. I used to have this uh, awful no joke. This I, used to, to, I, used to, I used to have this awful joke. I used to tell Dylan about like that he masturbated with hummus and shit. Uh, or, or he would used, never he stop used, telling you. He used hummus as lubricant. I he wouldn't stop bombing. At the time, I told, I thought it was so funny, bro. And I was like, wow, this is actually a really like hacky Jewish joke. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's, that's the type of joke that they have in the cat skills. <laughs> damn, damn. Nah, Only, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You used to live in the Catskills. Yeah, they let black people in the Catskills. Yeah, so black people <laughs> what is the Catskills? The Catskills is where they put the Jews. Wow. I mean, the Jews have like what? a. Sorry, they didn't put them there. <laughs> but it's where all the it's where the all Cat the Catskills is Germany. Catskills <laughs> Germany. It's New York Germany, dog. Hang what? Um, They're just um, up there. No, no. It's where the uh, from what I gathered is where Jewish people send their kids. For like summer, ca- for like summer camp and shit like that. The Catskills, the Catskills, and it's like it's like it's like the it's like Jewish um, uh, what's that shit people go to all the time? The Ham- it's like Jewish Hampton, Hamptons. The Poconos, you about to say? Nah, the Catskills. No, I- I'm not really sure where it's. At. I think it's upstate I don't think New you're York. Describing this great, am I just high? 
Yeah. I think I'm describing it pretty on No, but on, the Catskills is beautiful, point. though. They got a lot of Jewish bungalows and shit. They got mm-hmm. mountains. They got houses, bobcats and shit. They got bobcats? Random Jamaican people. Yeah, yeah, They got bobcats and mountain lions up there for sure. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I was saying some, some good shit, and then Dylan interrupted me. What were you or saying? Or DC interrupted me. I forgot, bro. You'll remember. Soon, Why do you keep blaming people soon, for your losses recently? Soon they'll see the vision. What losses have I blamed people for? Guys, guys, so, man. guys. Been, I was just at a team dinner guys. for my job, and they were like, you know what's the best thing about Kev? This motherfucker never complains. <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> That's lit. And it's true, I don't. That's lit. Because you're scared. Nah. Uh, nah, wait. I got nothing. I don't feel like I got nothing to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there. I would have been like, that's because y'all never asked him to bark. <laughs> 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 have you ever asked him to talk for seven minutes and he did ten? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll complain about you not giving me more time when I'm killing. Like, <laughs> like, why are you giving me the light when three people bombed in a row and I'm the only one doing well? Guys. I never approved Guys. That. Today, comedy. Tomorrow, the world. <laughs> the world, fellas. The Guys, world. <laughs> let's introduce ourselves. I'm Dylan J. Negri. Ooh. That's that- Dylan J. Negri next to me, the mad scientist. I'm DC, the stone philosopher. Kevin said just dos banditos while Kev. He does what he wants, and you like it. He really you does know do you it. do. Recently, <laughs> Kev really does do what he wants. <laughs> He's just meant for that life. We're all meant for that life, but Kev is, Kev is right now I'm in, the, about, there was, in the he, blueprint stages of it. <laughs> Kevin, had, Kevin had stories like three days in a row that like, Three people came up to me and was like, yo, Kev's wilding. Oh, it's always Kev they talk about on the pod. It's an, uh, it's annoying. I am wilding, though. What did I say the other day the comedy club? I was like, bro, I, I meet so many people, like, comics or, like, just fans who would be like, it's like, I'm like, yo, they either, like, like, like uh, hate me and love you or love you and still hate me. <laughs> no, no, you said that they either love me and love Kev or they hate me and still love Kev. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> so they still yeah. love Kev. People are usually like, well, what's up with the white boy? <laughs> <laughs> what's up with the skinny kid with the Justin Bieber? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, not Justin Bieber. it's like, yeah. no, that's what Abby said. Abby's like, he's like the Justin Bieber here. I was like, Dylan, <laughs> 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 that should have you dead. Bro. Abby, I don't know what you look like, so I can't flame. <laughs> nah, nah. So nah. shout out to our old office manager, Abby. Yeah, yeah, oh, she yeah. Got yeah. Fired? She watched the clips. Nah, now she, she quit, left. and she then left. she told everybody. <laughs> She was just, I left a lot of work on your on your on your plates and I'm sorry about that, but that's showbiz, baby. <laughs> and then she left. <laughs> Aren't you a fan, bro? Aren't you Wait, a fan? What? Dog, she and she did that through like Slack. You know what Slack is? Yes. Yo, she's that like, she went to like Wait, the, she did it over text. Huh? She did it over text. Over text. She goes, Yo, I left a lot of job. I left a lot of things on on on, on know, unattended plate. and on your plate. But that's showbiz, baby. She said <laughs> that? Yo, so, and signed out. <laughs> Left I'm the going chat. to NBC. Left the chat, dog. I was like, that's so amazing. A part of me was like, if that was me on the other end Legendary. of that. Legendary. What's the worst you ever quit a job? I don't think I've ever really quit a job, bro. I, I got fired. What did you get fired for? I got fired for a no call, no show. <laughs> so you, so that's some shit I would definitely yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. That's not crazy. I'm not far off. I would go to work and leave sometimes. They, they didn't. <laughs> They didn't like that. that I, I watched DC get fired for that. <laughs> they did not like that. Uh, I watched Arlo? him get fired for that. Yeah, at Arlo, yeah. They did not like what, that. What, shit, why did you leave Arlo that day? No, so to like. Get a, bro, to, he yeah. came, bro, to get a sandwich. So, and they and bro, Gary looked at me. And he, I'm like his best friend. Yeah. He's like, where is DC? I go, dude. I don't know. Honestly, Look, I don't know. And yeah. 30 minutes go by and they like needed him. There was like a issue. Dude, there was when like you're slammed in a restaurant, you can't go get food. But I was dumb hungry. I've wait, been working way, for like six, seven by hours. The way, already. By the way, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not fair, though. Wait. Hold on. Jeez, he was working Kevin, for six, seven Kevin, hours? Yeah, and, bro. And was hungry? No, Kevin, when you get slammed, bro, you can't leave. You have an event. You got to wait. You could absolutely just go to like the dudes in the back it. and be like, yo, I, I've done this. I was like, yo, can you make me a cheeseburger? But don't like, act like they don't be absolutely. on that shit, though, bro. And I would ask for a chicken bro, sandwich sometimes. When Gary rehired me is when I ate the best. He rehired the both of us. Isn't that crazy? No. he hired After him. he fired you? Yeah. He rehired him he rehired because of my voucher, of and then he yeah. got fired again. How did you get fired again? I just I'm not I'm legendary, Late. bro. Like, I, I got I got Dylan. Hey, I love that. I, I got, love that. Hey. Yo, Dylan, Dylan, I love that. He goes, he goes. Why did you get fired again? Because I'm legendary. Bro. <laughs> I, well, got no. him, I got him hired. They got fired, and then he he got fired, and then he Dude, got hired again. Why did you get fired, fired again? Why did you get fired? I didn't get fired. I quit. You quit. quit. I quit. And what happened? You need another, you need, you for, you realize you didn't have the way to pay your bills. Yeah, he was about to go work at Starbucks, bro. I remember <laughs> we were doing the vlogs and shit. He was like, "Bro, I'm broker than I ever been, bro." <laughs> Yo, I can never. I can't see this nigga in a green <laughs> apron, dog. I haven't said this I way in the podcast yet. Well, I don't know if I said this before. This is great, dude. I'm telling. 
telling you, I, I, had, a, I had a girlfriend. Everyone's surprised that Dylan's quit. poor. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it blows my so mind, too. So disappointing, bro. And then, dude, uh, I, was with, I was with this girl, and we were about to travel to, like, California. And we were like, you know what? I'm like, yo, life is better than ever. I don't even need this job. I'm going up. Shit, I went down. And that's her, just from her, doing a couple her, the weeks at we were supposed to, like, The friend that we were supposed to, like, stay at her place or whatever. Yeah. They weren't friends anymore. Me and my yeah, girl started that. fighting. Broke up. And then I was just like... In California? No, here. No, she... Uh, actually, yeah, she lived back in Florida. So it was just dumb young shit. And then, dude, I was looking at Starbucks. I interviewed. And then I was like, I can't do this. And mm. then I interviewed at, like, a fast casual sushi place. And then, dude... You worked there for, like, 24 hours or some shit. No, 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 no. Not 24 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not joking, bro. He worked, he, he, I walk <laughs> in. The dude put Like, we talk. Puts on the apron. He starts to show me everything. And he gets through, like, the first half. He goes, all right, you know, let, let's just do, like, a, a test. Oh, this like, order came through. Let's do it down the line. We did, like, three or four of those, right? Five, maybe six, seven, whatever. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they are open, so it's, like, lunchtime, yeah. right? And, dude, 30 minutes goes by. Yeah. And he looks at me and goes, so how you feeling? The first, how you feeling? Yeah. I go, can we talk downstairs real quick? And yeah. he goes, sure. I go, downstairs, I go, I swear my life is what I say. I go, hey, man, um, actually, I'm going to – I'm good. I don't think this is for me. I'm actually going to go to my old manager and beg for my job back. He, and handed him the apron, <laughs> turned around, and just walked up the stairs and left out Why, that door why did you back. feel like that wasn't for you? Come on, bro. What? No, no, no. I want to know. Like, what made you go – I've done it before, but I was – Done like, what before? Like, worked in, like, fast casual restaurants, like, food, and, like, made, like – I worked at, like, Firehouse Subs when I was in high much, school. How much – It wasn't – But it's a sushi place. Bro, we're talking about line sushi. You know, like you're talking about like dig in shit, bro. Yeah. Like winning gloves, food, food, people. Yeah. I did that for a couple like, there's of days. Like a, there's like a fucking No, just straight. Conveyor straight belt. line here to there. Like, you know what I mean? They line up and you you pass it down. Pass you it talk out. with the mic. You they line up the food. The yeah. same way you go to dig in, the same way you go to any oh, restaurant, Chipotle. Like it's that, that type of thing. Bro, yeah, I was what bro. I remember mm. being in the tiny ass restaurant, not really re- realizing how much I took for granted. Working in a hotel with an elevator, multiple parts, a rooftop, a downstairs, a multiple floors. I like, told you it was a good, it was a good job, it was a good bargain. Bro. You know, but when he told me about the job when I first met him, I was like, oh yeah, cool. And then I went back home for Thanksgiving. I just met DC like the week before, I know or like you, the two I weeks before. Me this. And he just, and I and my dad goes, so you, you you got a job? I go, yeah. Imagine gonna work at a bar. My dad goes, a bar in New York? That's really good money. I go, it's a rooftop. It's a rooftop bar. Like I watched my dad's reaction. He's like, huh? I, I was just <laughs> lying at dinner, and I looked at him. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And at dinner, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like lying and texting DC at the same time. Like, yo, Can what's up, man? Job? By the way, texting <laughs> at the time, I'm like, I don't know if we're friends yet. Like, I don't know if he's like this guy. This is just gonna never show up again in yeah. my life. And he's like, because that's a possibility as an adult. No one knows is that you shit. You meet a good person, a cool person, and then you're like, and then what the fuck happened? And, the, and then they're like at home, like, why am I talking to this idiot? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's me. A and lot. I was an idiot as a kid. That, that, that's me a lot. I'm an like, idiot now. People hit me up, and I'm like, I was talking to you. People come to me and they're doped up. Oh, something happened to me at dog. What happened? So we at the last show. Some dude comes up to me. He goes. Yo, what's up, man? I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? And I'm not trying to figure him out. I'm not trying to read his face. Like, where do I know this guy from? And I'm like, bro, I'm sorry, bro. You're going to have to remind me your name. He goes, all right, Kev. Like, he hit me with, all right, Kev. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, we meet a lot of people. And the way you just did that leads me to believe I'm so far ahead of you. Like You said that? No, in my head. Oh. I didn't say that to him. But in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, bro, you can't get offended when somebody doesn't remember you in this industry. Yeah. Like, unless you're, like, fucking Chappelle. You know, you know what uh, Monroe Martin uh, told me? He goes, uh, bro, that, that's on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not memorable. That's, that's what Monroe that. Martin said. Yeah, yeah, Make yourself more mem- memorable. So, whatever. He says what's up to Nothing. I pay no mind to him. Like, yo, bro, I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm chilling. And my girl's outside. I'm introducing her to people. But I didn't introduce her to this person because I don't know him. Yeah. Right? So my girl's like, like she's like in the middle and I'm having conversations with people and she starts talking to this person. And she's like, D- have you had this beer? And he, he's like, nah. He goes, it says a Pilsner. My girl, whatever. She goes. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. She goes, it says it's a Pilsner, but it tastes like an IPA. Yeah. 
And I turn around on this moment. I don't hear none of this. That's what I hear. Is that the comedy club? Is that the comedy club? Out of the show? And he goes, let me get a, let me get a sip. And then I see her like, like she doesn't like. She goes, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. And she just gave him the beer, the beer can. And then he took that as like he looked at her and was just like, starts like, <laughs> yeah, basically like, like oh, you gave me a sip of your drink. Mm. He really did that, basically. <laughs> so then I go, and I'm not really thinking nothing of it. I so just, this dude is black. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just established that was this story. Yeah, you know what I told DC today? <laughs> what was it today? He did. DC did something so ridiculous. I was like, Yo, man, how come every moment with you was mad black? <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? I, I yo, what today. did you do? To, yo, he did something today. so crazy. I was like, Only Dominican, Puerto Ricans, and black people understand that this is okay. <laughs> and he did. He does it for white America in public. You know, and sometimes that shit is like harsh to be around, bro. Because I know, because I'm I'm so involved in white America too that I'm like I know they don't understand that this guy's just being normal. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. anyway, so, so so she takes a sip and I go and then he goes to me. I swear to God, he goes. I said, "What's up, yo?" He goes, "Yeah, we were chilling. We were talking until you came here." And he don't, but he, again, he doesn't he, know that's he, your girl. He don't know that's my yeah, shorty. Yeah, yeah. Said, and then she go, she gives him the look, and he goes, "Nah, but you weren't just talking to me." <laughs> like he like he's trying to like yeah, alpha me, rocker, and I just like I let him ro- I let yeah, yeah, I let him rock. Yeah, yeah, sure. I let them rock. Like when someone tries to alpha you, like I let he's you. Also, you know he's lost. So he's, he's lost in the. So, Wait, he has, so you made your yeah. girl deal with it? So that no 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 no. I'm like yo baby, can you believe? Now when I said yo baby, then he did something. Hilarious, because now he realizes. Oh no! Not only is this guy not remember my name, not only is this his spot, not only did he just cry. Oh, I was about to go on stage. Oh yeah, he's about to go on stage. He's about. Not only is he about to crush. Yeah, yeah. not only is he about to crush, but I just like try to like go. Not the, only is this his girl. Not, not only is this his girl. So many factors. So many factors. He goes. I. I think he. Felt, he goes. He goes. Yeah, man, yo, she over here trying to talk to niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yo, I was so no I lo- Yo, dog, no. I love that shit, bro. No I was like, way. that's right, King. No and I looked at her, I was like, that's right. Why did you give him a sip of that beer, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you said that? Yeah. I didn't say bitch at the end because. You uh, see what you just caught? You see what you just caused, <laughs> yo? The confusion you just The confusion caught. you just. Why would you give a man you don't know a sip oh, knowing you were another yo, man here? I love that wit of him walking away. Now you're yelling at your girl. You're yeah. like, what the fuck yeah. you do? And he didn't walk away. I wish he did. What'd you do? I wish yeah. he did. That would have been mad like hilarious. He just stood there while y'all He fought. stood there, like, uh, watching his work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he threw that bomb and just stood. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, he didn't bomb. He was he recovered. No, 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 he threw that bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just stood there. He he wanted to see the 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 guts, nigga. He wanted to see his work. Yeah, he was watching his work, dog. All right, now you figure that out. Now figure that out. So then I crushed, right? Because right before I leave, he goes, "Yeah, man, you better be funny, bro. I heard you going up tonight." That's what he tell. Yo, and I was like, who is I, this? I was like, you, uh, and then I got mad. Yo, if we had a bouncer, I would have kicked him out. Oh, no, no, 100%. 100%. But it felt very gratifying for him to come up, come up after me. Just, You're really funny, man. No way. You're really funny. You're really funny. I said, don't talk to my bitch Flawless again. Flawless victory. Don't talk to my bitch again. That's what I said. <laughs> and guess what? I don't know who, I don't know who you are. I'm about your life. I'm not gonna lie, flawless victory. Flawless victory. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he crushed that time, he had to come up to me and be like, "Yo, you're funny, bro." Like, just like, yeah, yo, yo, by the way, it, it, just like at the end of the night of him being like trying to out out for you, and you never folding, and him coming to you and just being like, <laughs> like you know, "What he said when he said you were funny, should have been like, yeah, I had you giggling.'" <laughs> yeah. Now, when you, 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 you would have like, like hit him and been like, I had to giggle it. I had to giggle it. Oh, and like, taking his lips. Like, do it to me. Like, like, you're kind of funny. Uh, oh, say it again. So, do like, hey, man, you're kind of funny. Had you giggle it? Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, hey, yo, that's mad disrespectful. Yeah, so, bro, bro, I had so subtle. Hey, but I had you giggling. You know those dudes that used to disrespect you? What do you mean? Like the guys that I'm not gonna say names, uh, and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like they used to say wild shit to you. You know, oh, that's what they say about me behind my back. Oh, bet. You know what you call that? Now, when you kill, how'd you giggle it? <laughs> how'd you giggle it? <laughs> 
Hey guys, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this episode, VaporDNA.com, and sponsoring my fight against Will Paco in Ella's Media 2022 at Skank Fest Vegas. Guys, VaporDNA.com is an online website that services all your vapor needs and provides it you at the lowest price. Point. Out of everyone, use code DYING10 to get 10% off your entire purchase. Remember, this is for 21 and up. So remember, guys, nicotine is an addictive chemical. This is for 21 and up. But if you're a vapor, you're if you like vaping, no? Okay. You like vaping? Are you gonna vaping. are you you've been you're gonna use vaping. vapor DNA this time yeah, around, so right? Fuck with us, man. We love you guys. Vapor, vapor DNA, DNA, use code DYING10, D-Y-I-N-G 10 for 10% off. Again, that's capital D Y I N G 10. For ten percent off, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> yo, that, was, yo. <laughs> that was also one of my favorites with that, like that, like with that crew where it's like outside of like, um, like the Grizzly Pair one night. When I knew they saw and they were like throwing shots at everyone. You just want, ha 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 ha. Let's just go over. It's like it's funny where it's like comedy is so. It's like day to day though. It is because I bombed in front of people. Like, all right, so it's, 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 it is like the NBA, bro. You win a game, all right, cool. Once you go to sleep, that shit resets. So some shorty comes up. You bomb once, everyone. Else. Only as good as your last set, bro. That's, that's true. true. That's, no, that's kind of true. Kind, in a sense, that's kind of true. Especially some when people, you're on your way up, bro. No, nah, it's, it's a good way to live by, though. Yeah. Not live by, but like it's a good thing to live by. Yes. It's it's more also like I, this is something that like you also need to like everyone needs to realize if you're doing comedy is like every set is every crowd's different. Every it's like dating. So, like, not everyone's, like, a loud crowd or a moving crowd. Some people just come to you after the show, and you're like, that was a really good show. You didn't laugh once. Yeah. But, uh, uh, because I remember there was this girl who was supposed to headline on on Saturday. But she came in. She had to leave early. I'm not going to say her name. But she saw me bomb horrifically at Black Ass Comedy Show. Who's it? I'm not gonna say her name. Gonna say her name. Oh, I'm sorry. She uh, was hosting one time. No, 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 but is this the first time you went? But I know. Yep. I know. You know what he's talking yeah. about. So oh, yeah. And then, Ooh. so then she comes up to me. And she's very sweet, cause she also killed, right after me. Mm-hmm. And she comes up to me. And goes, you know, I heard that she was in the back saying, "Oh, like looking around. Who the fuck is this guy?" And then, um, is that you who told me that? And then Dave walked over and said, "Julio Diaz." Ah. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Shout out Julio Diaz, yo. You come slowly but surely one of my favorite people in comedy right now. Oh, I love Julio. Yo, you know who yeah. I love? Leo Confessi. Oh my, oh, I love Leo too. Dude, episode, dude so I fucking... Did he did, he did, did, did great Did we? Yeah. Did we? I fu- No, but we didn't give him his flowers last like we should have. we didn't do that. No, 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 we didn't. We, we, no. we, 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 we no, brushed right. by it. We no, brushed oh by it. Oh, my God. We brushed by it. I bet you it's longer than you think. No, 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 it's not. It's not, though, because you're not good with time, right? So, like... <laughs> Why <are you> like <laughs> because, because you're not good with time. I heard about Jews and time. You guys, not, it's not for you guys. <laughs> Yo, chronological weather, order. Weather. You know <laughs> <God>. <laughs> time. Stupid. I hate that joke, by the way. Yeah, it's so The, the Jews are, like, control so the weather. Burnt. It's like, first of all, we all control the weather now, unless you're <laughs> fucking poor. Unless you a bitch ass poor motherfucker. How do you control the weather? Like, Air conditioning, the heat in uh, your homes. Uh, like we hilarious. control the weather hilarious. for the most part. Smart, yeah, it's smart. Right. Man. I hate the fact that, Jew, like, you know, Jew, uh, if I was Jewish, I was like, yeah. Not only did we control the weather, but then we gave to the rest of you. So you were bombing on black ass. <laughs> I was bombing on black ass, and I remember this this person go comes like, yo, she came out to me. She goes, you're good. And dude, that shit hurts worse than like, damn, you bombed. Mm-hmm. Like that hurts way more. Like someone like trying to console you like that. Like you, are you okay? Protect your self esteem from hitting the floor. Just yeah. fucking. Yeah. Not even. It's not, it's not even like they're not trying to catch your self esteem. They're trying to poke at it. And be like, no, still are, got you, that? are you coming back? No, it's even worse. Yeah, no, nah, honestly, I think the, she was trying to be sweet though. To be real with you, yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think she's sweeter than people realize. What do you want? She's after, mad a, sweet. after a bomb, what do you want? What, what do I want? What's your what's your bomb remedy? I want like three minutes of roasting, three to, three to five. What's of your roasting. recipe? And then and then honestly, I just wanted to, like that happens because I'm not gonna. That's not gonna make me stop doing comedy. After bombing, bro, I wish I had another set every time. That oh, dude, every that's single a, time, that's bro, so I I fucking yes. painful as a young comic. Like, fuck, yes. I wish I had if you don't have that in you, young and old, the fuck, young and old, young and old, bro, young and old. It's like I know if I had another set, it would be better. But not than young, that. Com- I mean, I'm more like a not having a lot of spots. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the, that sucks. I mean, that is like a young comic. That's what uh, uh, like some... when you when when you don't when you bomb, you're like, 
Like, having it said this the next day. The <laughs> like, yeah, having it said the next day is okay. But there's times you're like, is there a time slot show? Like, can you, I hop on there? And then, and then I've go, done open mics you after. You bomb at, at 7 p.m., bro. Like, if, I, if I ate shit at that black ass show um, and they have Stay that uh, the open bike. mic, I'll just go up and be like, yo, can I go up like second and just, I got to do something. Yo, <laughs> bro, there's nothing. You bomb early, 7 p.m., and there's nothing else for the night, bro. Oh, <laughs> like, it would be painful. But to think about that. Dude, I remember awesome. even like killing. And going, going yeah. and going like, yo, I can't believe this is it tonight. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe this is all I get to do. Like, mm-hmm. and, 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 and I, I know there's some people probably listening to this like, yo, you guys are ungrateful or whatever. No, nah, that's not ungrateful. But it's like, no. dude, like, this is a, a, a art, like. What would we be if we were like, yeah, that's great. I did it. I did good tonight. You know what I'm saying? This comic's got to do good three times in a row on weekends, bro. Yeah. Like, so that that's just like, you're just looking forward to that part. I don't think that's anything wrong with that. Yeah, it's crazy when like I watch um like Jay on the road when he does like forty five minutes. He does like different sets, so different beast. jokes, crowd work, and you do like five shows, six shows a weekend. You're like, that's a lot. I got bro. a question. A lot, hours a lot of talking. I got a question about this I, actually. What's up? So, when you're on the road with Jay, and I like let's say four or five hours before the show, are you guys hanging out? Um, or is he working on material, like going over his stuff? No, Jay. No, Jay's just like an arsenal of funny all the time. Like we'll chill, like before the show, like we'll eat at the hotel, grab like lunch. Like I remember when we were like in Albany, like yeah, you grab like lunch in midday, maybe head back to the hotel, chill before the show. You always chill before like you head back to the club. You eat at the club. You always eat at the club at the end of the night, and like he'll just always get like tequila shots, joints on deck, maybe a Dave and Buster's after. But it's a lot of just like chilling, drinking at the club. That's what happened that one night in Albany. I just got like too I wanna, drunk and high. I want confident. When uh, do, do you do me this favor? When uh, Jay, I think he's he's gonna do a film a special soon. No, he's filming one at Skate Fest. Is he? Yeah, live at, live from Skate Fest. So uh, after that, I want you to try to get on the road with him again, for when he's doing. When the special comes out, once the special comes out, I want you to go on the road with him again. I already know. I no, want you to and, spy. And I, no, I want to learn. <laughs> it's it, not spying. I want to learn. Too, no, but the, he already has the set. He no, no, no. For after the special. No, but I'm saying he already has that. Like he he has the special set where he uh, when he when we were on the road in uh, West Palm he was like yeah Ari wants me to work the special because Ari's producing it he's like I want Ari wants and me it's to gonna work. be at Skanks that's the one Ari's producing at Skankfest yes that's gonna be dope there's like three showings. I'm going to all of them. Yeah, the, the the ability to, bro. I'm telling you, like, but that's the thing is, it's all going to be the same as Game Fest, which is like when you're on the road, you're like, at, like there's times that you're just sitting in the green room and he's just like talking to people. I just want to see. I've never every, seen someone film a special. You can before. see Jay five times on a weekend. Well, every show's different. Cuomo special filming. You, every show's different, dude. I guess album recording, whatever. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> What did you? What I said didn't uh, matter. We can't even bring that back up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, that was hilarious. Just make sure you bleep it. <laughs> um, what? What did you say? He's. Uh, I, can, uh. I just uh, said he went to fucking Cuomo's uh, to film me over special. That's what I said. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, yeah um, but that's not the same as Big J. I know you said you never saw a special special film. I'm just like, I guess you're right. Have. I yeah. did see that. I didn't think about it. I'm sorry. I saw like, Leslie Jones film like her special thing, at Comic Strip. I did not go to Ari's special. No? No, I wasn't there with your buddy. Didn't you see Tom Segura when they weren't filming special? They weren't filming special, no. Oh, okay. Um, right, so you have damn, it, so you have damn it. Damn, so you you're just swinging and miss, huh? So you have it. I'm not trying to... Uh, <laughs> no. The, uh, yeah, no. I don't care about that shit. I really don't, but I, I am curious to do. see... Yeah, it sounds like you care. What... No, I, of course yeah, I care, because I... I, I <laughs> <laughs> it's comics, hey, buddy, bro. Buddy, actually... I don't fuck about nothing, buddy, bro. I don't know, man. I don't give a fuck about nothing, like, bro. Yo, bro, I saw the video. I don't know if we could put it up. Or whatever, but like I saw the video of the bailiff from that judge show, that court show, bro. Dude, can we talk about that video? you know that guy's a comedian. Wait, oh, the, the, the strong video? guy, the oh. black guy, the who black dude out? who called him out, and you don't look happy, dude. For so, like, can I explain d- to DC what the video is? From Judge Judy, from who? Judge Brown. I don't know. I don't know. Some white girl, some white lady, young blonde. I sent it to you. Show She's a bailiff. She's somebody not a bailiff. <sighs> Um, the bailiff is a big but black ba- hey, guy. But basically, it's just a, yeah, uh-huh. it's a big black guy, and then he's like, he's like talking about like marriage, and then there she was like, and then the judge is like, he's been married for 20, 25 years, 
And then this dude, the defender, is like, but you don't look happy, bro. <laughs> he goes, he, he don't even smile. He, not, he, he don't and even. And then he starts laughing. He's like, the, guy, the black guy's like, and then the judge is like, he's happy, he's happy. She's like yeah, literally trying to, <laughs> trying to salvage it. And then cut. And then cuts to um, a news report with the same bailiff. Bailiff on a, a famous uh, celebrity TV show charged for murder of his, of his wife. wife. It was him? It was him. Is not allowed to go to the uh, the funeral. Wasn't allowed service. to go to the funeral. What? Yeah, dude. Wow. What a wild. Video. What, for, first of all, how hilarious that. Do you think, by the way, you know for a fact that while he was doing, he was like, "God damn it, Edgar, that's it. <laughs> that, that dude's right. God damn it, that dude was right." Damn, did you almost say nah, that? Nah, he was right chuckling because <laughs> he was no, chuckling. Was like, right. Motherfucker was chuckling because he was like, "I was suff- I was trying to suffocate that bitch last night." Yo, bro. that's what he was thinking to himself. Like, yo, and then I saw the picture of his wife. Like, you saw this guy. Dude, honestly, the guy looks fucking amazing. Right? Like, he's built like a motherfucker. And you saw his wife. I'm like, that's interesting. Like, he would, yeah. you know, be with her. So, you know, whatever, you, right? So, you're on the murderous side. And then I'm thinking, like, what did this girl. I don't know about y'all, but, like, yes, I am on the murderous side. I want to know, like, what she do. Mm-hmm. I'm always on the older teacher with the student side. You ever see the episode of the Boondocks where they stomp no. that dude out and they, like, beat him up and then they shot him from the crowd? And then Thug Diffus would tell him the story. And he's like, they got stomped out right there. And then they shot him. <laughs> then they drug him. And then they stomped him out again. And I said, damn, I wonder, what did he do to make the niggas that mad? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yo, but bro? I always wondered that. Like, what she do to make him that mad? Now, bro, did- have you ever lived with anyone? Yes, bro. And do let you know, me tell you something. You know how aggravating it is to live like anyone in the world, but then think about the one person you're supposed to be with, and you bro, just live with that person for extended bro, period of I time. I lived... With a multiple, I'm gonna live with multiple people. I don't think life. you could. I, I don't think I could kill. I don't think you could kill. I don't think I could. Like, I don't think I could. No, kill. I'm not. No, I'm not saying. No, I'm what the fuck. I'm not trying to justify that. I'm just saying, bro. I've I'm like I got friends who are like, yo, we can't live together. We're we're great friends, but if oh, we move no. in together, we're fucking. I just kinetic. that's one of the, that's one of the things that like I've always been scared. Like, I think we could all live in a house together. If it had enough space. Separate floors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Separate for oh like just and far a big, enough big rooms. Living room. Big yeah. living rooms. Far enough rooms, right? Now, I lived with Josh. Loved it. There were there moments where I wanted now, to kill him? Of course. Talk to Josh about living with Kev. He doesn't say that. No, <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. Hated it. Oh, yeah? Bro. Oh, yeah? He doesn't really say that. Don't call Let, him again, call him, bro. Call, call him, him again. Suspend, I'll call him again. Suspend truth, bro, for the fucking pod. Remember you guys saying that? Suspend truth. For yeah, pod? but you know what? What you said can wasn't I, as can funny. I ask, can I ask so you not so doesn't seem biased? Oh, call, you're calling him from my... Josh only had one problem with me, and it was my penis. He didn't even say all that, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's probably not gonna I don't think he's an answer. Um, Kev, I don't. I, I think I've heard Josh talk about this. I don't think he said you're an amazing roommate. I'm a pretty good roommate, dog. I think you are, but I don't think. Josh. No, 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 no. Josh s- says it all the time, all the time. Probably to be nice. No, no. I'm telling you, I'm a good roommate, dude. I'm a good roommate because for the most part, bro, I'm ve- I'm mad considerate, dog. You know how respectful I am. I was fucking with you saying that I fucked somebody in your crib. No, no, no. You told that me was annoying. you told me not to fuck nobody on your bed. You said, and I know this for a fact. You were like, Kev, if you need to fuck somebody, do it in my living room. You did say that to me. I don't know if I said that. You definitely said that. You definitely said that to me. I'm high. But, but I, I smoke marijuana. But, but I'm that's, high right now. Let me ask you a question. Is that any of that my concern? Whether you're high yeah, or yeah. not. Right, like I, I, I can't be the judge. I can't ju- judge. Can't be the high I'm judge. considerate up to a point. You have to take a responsibility Ability for, for your <laughs> actions, buddy. So, but here's the thing. And you also I said, hope, I, hope, I hope everyone knows. Kevin uh, was watching my apartment while I was in Mexico, and then I, and then don't I, say the I, name. And then I said, "Hey, don't have people over." That's not what you said. That's not true That's, at all. Uh, yeah, That's not true at all. That's not true at all. You're like, you can have people over. It's cool. It's yes, chill. you said that, bro. Yeah, bro. You said you that, said bro. That, bro. I you would said, never. Man, it was on troops. <laughs> you said you can have people over. But you all know right. why I believe... This is why Dylan... This is why Dylan... This is why Dylan... This is why Dylan said I can have people over because he knows I would never let it go far. Okay. I would never let people disrespect his house. I said... I smacked the shit out of somebody if they drop something. Like, I'm one of those guys. But the... Did I not say did you have anyone over? And he said no. And I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't even remember. So I sat in my living room. And I don't count DC. And I turned on my Another YouTube. Too, so and sorry, there was yeah. a blonde bitch's YouTube logged in face staring at me. Yeah. It said Kiki. 
And I was like, dead white bitch. Yeah. Kevin lied to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you did. I said, do you have anyone over here? Honestly, no. I, did, honestly I didn't remember. You, like, because we see, did I also didn't remember. We did so not my should I be the judge? Do you know how disrespectful it is to get pussy in another man's house without giving him a percentage? <laughs> <laughs> percentage of pussy? <laughs> Should I give him like a percentage? Yeah, yeah, percentage I want of a percentage of the pussy. <laughs> hey, guys, you got to go and uh, suck my friend Dylan's dick real quick. Uh, I need to know right now for the podcast. I did, not have, I did not sleep with any person. I did not have sex with any person. In I did not apartment. have sexual relations <laughs> I did not in have your apartment. In your apartment. I really didn't. Other than jerking off. Ooh, that's worse, ain't it? Because if that was in your bed, my God, bro. I know, buddy. <laughs> it wasn't even a naked woman. At least complimenting. Wait, wait, wait. I'll say this. That's how respectful I am. If if she was down to fuck me, yeah, I would fuck her in this couch. Respect. It'd probably be more fun in this couch, honestly. (laughs) (laughs) No, yo, bro. Honestly, I, 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 think about it. Windows open. What do you mean windows open? No, air conditioning on. It gets wild when you sit in that chair no. and you're clapping cheeks and you're just like, oh, fuck, this is where he edits. What do you mean windows open? Oh, like so people could. How about while I edit? So people could see. So people could see. If she wanted to, but I, that's not my thing. And then you're like, fuck it. He's got his dick sucked while he was editing before. There was one time, like, I, I do like that, <laughs> like, getting, like, fucking by a window. And there was one time, bro, I went, I got an Uber, and I went to this one chick's place after, uh, um, after, like, a night, like, a bar night. And she she was like, no, maybe another night. I was like, and I was like, nah, tonight, come on. She was like, all right, all right. I got an Uber there. I got out of the car. I was like, ooh, it's a bad area. And <laughs> when it was like, got in, got into the, Got into New York or Harlem? <laughs> no, it was in like Brooklyn, but oh, deep, like, like Flatbush or deep. like Man's with the Bro, Crown Heights. I, I, she's, she's on like the fly, first or second. Further. She's on the first floor, and we, so we start fucking around. Was in Best Eye, Bro. I think it was Best Eye. It was Best Eye. And bro, she, um, we were like fucked by the window. We went to the window, and there were like cops right there. <laughs> the blue and red lights. And no, bro. When I tell you, it was like within seven feet. Of two grown men with my dick out, and we were fucking. Look to the right. There's a cop, and then like cop car turned on. They get out, and they're like going to investigate some other th- other thing. But like, looked up at us, and we're just like, I'm like, and I look around the area, bro, and I remember being like, this is not what we want to do. Let's mm-hmm. go this way. Like, this is how you. This is how you end your life. Like, Yo, but you know what? Though? Was he, he was myself. looking out the window. Like, I better not choke this bitch. They might no. think something. <laughs> the no. truth is this, though, bro. White dudes that look like you are safer in hoods than people that look like me in DC. No, yes. I will argue that all day. No, no, no. <laughs> in terms of like your life will stay with you. He's like I'm because robbable. that shit is I'm mad robbable. hot. You will get robbed. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will escape with your life. This is the price to pay. Now me in DC, they start asking about gang affiliations. Mm. They know you're not in a gang. Uh, they'll probably just rob me too, though. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a very robbable dude. They'd be like, <laughs> like yo, what's your gang affiliation? Then DC speaks, they go, never mind. No. I told you guys, I told you about that. I'm, tr- I'm still working on that story to tell it on stage about yeah. how I got robbed by two lesbians in LA. That's, That's how I know I'm very fucking robbed. How'd you get robbed by two lesbians? Two lesbians. Mexican girls fucking hey, go, through the, go through it. Go, go through, through it. Through I'm, it. At, I'm at work, mm-hmm. right? What's okay. your job? I was also in sales, I was, but I used to stand outside and pitch people like in front of grocery stores, wall pitching? bombs. I was getting, I was, was getting he people. He was wearing a giant burrito costume, giving was, free coupons. I was in no, sales. no. I had to fucking um get people to fucking um, the fucking no sign up some equ- some equipment that's for like um what do you call that surgery for your eyes? Not LASIK, LASIK not LASIK. Um, it it was like cataracts for cataract okay. eye surgery. So, so you were around old Latinos and shit, uh, right? Sorta, see, all all that, types of people, but it was it was like a low key like. Pyramid scheme, Don't do that. like um, thing. So what trigger. happened? So we're standing there, we're pitching. We got iPads on the table. Uh, we got our phone. You know, what I'm saying phones on the table and shit. And usually we say we talk shit, try to pitch people as they're going in. I, I, I'll get them to sign up. What do you say? Hey man, you look like you ain't see that door right. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> I would say anything. Yo, they walk into the door, they miss it once. You go, hey, man. hey, come back over here, bro. <laughs> Seems like you got some cataracts. I was the type of person that would walk with people though. Sometimes, if I really wanted to, I love like, it. Make it totally like a pimp. Like everything's like a pimp ain't slip back. I would just mm-hmm. low key stop. I used to work. The dude I used to work with sometimes, he was a funny dude. He was a long cigarette smoking motherfucker. What's a long like? Yeah, like, like, like a, a Newport 100, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that dude sounds like. Yo, he, somebody he, told me 
it was Newport 150s or 180s. Oh, is they that true? Chill. They got to chill. They were, where the you... fuck is that Detroit DC. fucking Flint, Michigan, bro? But so this guy, but this guy was below. I remember one time, just really quick, he, I was talking about, I was like, I usually get like dollar cigarettes every night. I was like, LA, I was mad, bro. I would smoke weed, but I will get like dollar cigarettes. He was like, you might as well buy a pack of cigarettes. And then, you know, before you know, in a week, you don't, <laughs> you don't spent a hundred dollars on dollar cigarettes. <laughs> when he said this shit was mad funny. Though. So how'd you get robbed? So how, you know how someone gets robbed, right? So they come, no. right? They're doing their thing. They're Not looking cool. at the shit. People have been going by. And then these motherfuckers both pull out fucking, fucking knives, bro. Fucking pocket knives. Pull out pocket knives. Yeah. Now, you remember what I said when I told you I'm very robbable, mm-hmm. right? These two females who weigh 120 pounds soaking wet with change in their pocket. Two of them shorter than way shorter than me. Can you say that they're cholos? Cholos. Cholas. 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 Damn, they weren't even fat cholas. They were like skinny cholas. skinny Mexican punky little skinny Mexican women. Yo. Came up to two men with knives. No, 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 Kev. Not guns. I'm telling you how robbable I look. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, like, we could rob him with a sharp. Yes. Like a sharp. <laughs> we could probably rob, rob him with, with a, a sharp and nice spoon. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying, bro. Like, do you understand? So you said what, like, what was your so what they say? Right? What they say? They're like they're they're like give us the fucking iPads. That's pretty much give like what they're saying. Give us the iPads. And they put a spork in your sna- neck. So on one of the so, oh um he she snatched his phone off the table, <laughs> grabbed the iPad. A jets off. She j- I'm oh. standing here, kind of with a standoff, like, do I hit this bitch? It's still a bitch, right? Yeah. Still, a, still a lady, right? Yeah. So my whole she a bitch. At so that point. while I'm thinking that, she's not a lady, and she she's a bitch. watching, like doing like like this. While I'm th- thinking that shit, I look over to my right, and this nigga fucking tackles this bitch, bro. <laughs> I mean, side tackle like a fucking lineman, bro. Wait, what about tackles you? her to the fucking ground. Mexican kid. Okay. I Sorry. think yeah, he was like Spanish kid. Tackles her to the fucking ground. I grabbed this chick. I didn't want to get stabbed, right? Yeah. I'm scared to get poked. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and I put this chick in like a full Nelson so she can't like use her hands. But, but now, but, but now the optics. Was there a part of you in that moment? You were like, yo, I'm never going to get to do this again. Should I go extra hard? Bro, I didn't, I didn't know what was happening. You're going to slam her on the head? Bro, I was thinking to myself, I don't get. I never saw that, right? Bro, all I was thinking is I don't get paid enough to fucking deal with this shit mm-hmm. over here. How much are you getting paid at the time? Um, Whatever he sold, minimum wage is probably like close to like fifteen, fifteen, but like plus and then you have plus to make like commissions if you like close deals and shit like that. Okay, so you're holding her, holding her like this, right? He gets his shit back, he snatches, a, he, he tackles her, snatches his shit from her like this, right? And she's and 120 he, pounds, yeah, she yeah, hurting. She's like, come on, let's go. Is she cute? So I'm like, I, all I do, bro, is she I cute? Just go like this, and I just release the bitch, yeah. and then she just runs off, and then she Damn. take it. She, she tried to get my shit, but it didn't. Was she cute? It didn't work. Nah, the bitch, what the fuck that bitch, bro? Was she cute? What? Was she cute, though? That bitch looked at me and was like, yeah, this nigga's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she thought, bro. She was That's like, so her fucking lesbian girlfriend. Let's what did you say to each other afterwards? Bro. We just looked at each other like, yo, this is crazy, bro. Like, are we really, like, dealing with this? Like, almost getting robbed on the job, you're bro? Like, you guys take a big breath, like, huh? How long did you it take? You the like, and then it, you guys want to sign up for sol- solar energy? Mm-hmm. You know what's so funny? We did, after, like, 20 minutes, we kept working after that, bro. Yeah. We were just like, what the fuck else are we going to do? Just fucking be bored and talk about it. But he was yeah. done. I think he left. Oh, we went back to the office and he quit. He just went like, I fucking quit, dude. But like, yo, Damn. is that our fault you got robbed? Yeah. I, Tell him that. I, get, I mean. I was like, I, could, I, I was mean, like, I'm out here in L.A. by myself. Low key, I, I can't quit my job, bro. Shit was, well, yeah, that was fucking terrible. But I need to. I'm trying to. Build, there's a whole thing I'm building, but I'll, I'll tell you about it. Yeah. But yeah, two Mexican lesbians robbed me, attempted to rob me with pocket knives. In case you're wondering how robbable I am. All right, guys. Let's do a little bit of plugs. Yeah, it's just again. Plugs. If you're listening to this episode, we are at Skane Fizz by we. I mean, me and D, uh, me and Kevin. Yeah. DC's not gonna be there. Apparently. Uh yeah, I might not. Maybe I might pop maybe, in, make maybe. an appearance. Mystery, maybe. maybe I appearance. never know. But guys, I want to thank again, uh, Zia uh, Extraordinary Farms for sponsoring this episode. Thank you to a vapordna.com for all your vapor needs and shout out to skate fest for housing me and kevin we're gonna be there having lots of fun so guys make sure to go follow me at dylan j negri to see all the stories posts and everything fun from this weekend the green room things little things from that different views that you can't see on the i always have the fun little aesthetics so go my stories watch those and make sure to follow dope dope comedy if you're on youtube bow, first bow, time watching bow, bow. if you're on instagram Kish, Kish. do that also if you're in the new york new jersey um brooklyn this area is too long <laughs> come to dope dope comedy club <laughs> dope dope comedy club is your place for all um comedy club needs and um, currently on 66 and <laughs> greenpoint 
and and and, and we can we can officially announce out on the podcast. Should, should we wait? wait? Should we wait? We do got some exciting things coming at Dope Thug. Should we wait? Should we let them know? Should we let them know what's dope. coming? If this comes out Sunday, would would that be enough for them to let them know what's happening next week? Next week, Black Ass Comedy Show comes. Oh. Oh. Wait, next week? Oh, as I'm scared. Oh. If you're listening to this at uh, on October twenty third, uh huh, nine p.m. Uh huh, Black Ass oh, yeah, Comedy Show makes its doped up comedy club debut. Ooh. Let's go, Ooh. Ski, ski. guys. We got Thursday Ooh. free show. Uh huh. Saturday show. Uh huh. Sunday show. Yeah. Uh-huh. That week will be a crazy week. We already have Come on. 55 tickets sold for that Saturday. Come on. The Thursday show is DC's little baby with the little free show. Come so, on. Start maybe some with the free show. Mm. Come dip, fuck with us. Y'all your never know. In, no, no, this is what I say, Kev. Start with the free show on the Thursdays. Yeah. Dip your toes in. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. Saturday. Big, big, big. Wait, 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 wait. Do we bring Mungo and Oxtail to dope up? <laughs> we, got, we, we might bring Mungo and Oxtail to dope up. We're going to give you guys a Tuesday. Suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a clown. <laughs> a Tuesday. A Tuesday. Yo, he, oh, he almost got stopped out on his own apartment, dog. Also, guys, comedy, um, man. Also, Dope Dope Comedy Club <laughs> is in New York Comedy Festival. That is another amazing achievement. Yes, sir. And that first little yes, baby, sir. we're also. I mean, in I mean we've only been around New York two months. Comedy Festival, so make sure to check out the Without a Country Dude, podcast, years, live bro. podcast taping at Dope Dope Comedy Club. Is that happening? November, I think, 2nd. I believe it's a Tuesday. So go to our site on Eventbrite, Dope Dope Comedy Club. And that is happening. We're we'll selling tickets for that as well. So, guys, Dope Dope Comedy Club, New York. Oh. And it's amazing. And it's oh. a vibe. Oh. Now, throwing up to my host, to the right. G, your, uh, your plugs. Oh, my Kevin God. That took forever. And he yep. skipped to Samuel Sanchez, which is so crazy. Um, uh, so, we're just going to go down the middle. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> at DC Williams Comedy. Um, that is the I only did that just place. to piss you off, by the way. <laughs> that is the only place you need to follow me. Guys, please like and subscribe. We cannot stress to you how important that is to us um we want to keep growing this podcast we want a whole world of you motherfuckers that fuck with us so please keep liking us well, the whole world will be doped up and yeah man mm-hmm. today comedy tomorrow the world chico tomorrow the world Ooh. pinky so um yeah keep scheming with us keep following us well, like, like subscribe today, comedy. keep oh, fucking the with world. the morning coffee of comedy Ooh. and then by the time you're seeing this bro you could probably catch me at a few different places i know for sure uh sundays i'll be at st mark's 8 p.m Come see your boy perform. If um, you're in New York. Come see your boy. Come see your boy even fucking. You never know what you might see. Your boy. You see your boy fucking. Your boy do some I mean, I, I, after Skank Fest, there's, there's some stuff coming. So. Uh-huh. Skanky, skanky. There's so definitely guys, some skank. Level up. Level up. <laughs> but anyway. Should be a lot of fun things coming yeah, up. Um, Let's get back to the show. Guys, wait. Uh, Wild Kevin Sanchez oh, pff, on Instagram. Unbelievable. Wild guys. Kev Sanchez on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Please like, follow, subscribe, doped up. Uh-huh. Like, follow, subscribe, up, up. And guys, go check out Natalie DeChico oh. edits. Uh, under Love you, Natalie. Shout out the edits, fuck to Nat. Store. Shout out Big uh, Nat. Shout out to Natalie, who's amazing. She's, she's not here on these home episodes, but she does record and edit, edit these. So, Natalie, if you're watching this, you're listening to this, and you're editing all clips, we love you. Um, Back to the episode. Yeah, Back man. Back to the episode. I mean, yeah, man. Uh, I'm excited for this year for, for everybody, man. I, it's I really funny. Am. We were talking about um, Double Comedy Club, and there's like so many things that's happening right now. And it's such a baby. Yeah, it's it is so a baby. Young. But a lot of people, a lot of people are hitting it's us so up. I'm pretty young. sure you guys, even individually, a lot of people are hitting us up. Also, no, we need to bring on the podcast. That's what I, I like about these home episodes. Is a little bit more chill, a little bit more laid back, which I love for the podcast. Is we got to introduce them to David. Don't know who that is. Young David. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. David Cash. David Cat. Yeah, David Cash. Well, that's his name, right? It's Clash. Clash? Oh, so I like listen, Clash even better. Everything in time. Everything in time, bro. So, but young, yeah, he has to come we got to talk about young David. Young David. I mean, I mean, what can, a champ, right? This dude has um, come out for Dope Dope Comedy Club, I think, from like the first or second week. I don't even know how he found out about it. He keeps showing up. Keeps coming back. Keeps Posted helping. He shows. also can get you. But yeah, he gave me some wild ass. He gave me some Adderall that felt like I had people, thousand people in my head kicking me in my brain, bro. <laughs> that shit, like, Jesus, bro. I was like, what the fuck, David? Oh, hey, guys, 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 
guys, guys, what? what are we doing? Stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're being narcs. David Gates is drugs. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no, no. But shout out to the Russian homie, man. Yeah, shout out to the Russian homie. <laughs> <laughs> because listen, big <laughs> Russia energy, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we do that episode? Big Russia no, energy. No, we cannot. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we can't. Um, <laughs> why? So we could be demonetized before we're monetized? No, if every time we say Russia, we have to say Ukraine three times. So Ukraine, <laughs> Ukraine, <laughs> Ukraine, 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 um, yeah. no, that but, is hilarious. But I, I just want to shout him out and bring him up because, like, there's a lot of things we had. <laughs> we had a young comic uh, who was also helping and barking. Lil T, Lil T, we'll call him. Uh, Lil the, T comes through. He 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 quit the week I wasn't there. Well, you know what he told DC recently? What? So DC was barking. I shouldn't even say that, but he was barking for a different club, mm-hmm. right? How dare you! Uh, no, 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 well, and he gets like seven to ten people in, right? No, I don't. And then Tomas goes, DC, how do you keep doing that? And he goes, I just speak louder than you. <laughs> Dude, I didn't I, say like that. Yo, I, said, I was just like, yo, just project. But bro, don't be so close. He's in. the definition of someone who stinks. And David, I, I mean, this is like, I, I'm sorry. It stinks because I'm, bro, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a dick, but like young, I'm trying to run bro. a business. Also, I'm he's trying to young. keep everything work working, mm-hmm. and yeah, li- li- kid. I, li- I want to little, little baby <laughs> T will call quits on the when I'm in Mexico. Tells you guys uh, from from these guys he does a whole. Oh, tell, yeah. oh man, it was hilarious. What do you do? So then he 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 goes. First of all, tell, sh- be baby T. And how did he quit? Because he quit to me. So go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm talking. You, you who differ? am I talking to? Me, who am I talking you and to? Ken. I'm talking to Ken on you. On you. Who's the best? Mad you funny. And then and then DC. And we're chilling. We're having our own so conversation. You're talking, go. He said you're about to leave. Yeah, he said Ken. you're about to leave. What's up, buddy? Are you, hey, what's up? What, you, what happened? What's going on? You about to leave? Yeah, I'm going home. All right, buddy. Yo, listen. Home. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, I but I quit. What? I, I quit. Yeah, man. I've been here for like a couple. I've been here for like a couple weeks. I've been helping out, and I still haven't gone up once. Um, right. Yeah, man. I just yeah, little team, my man. Listen, listen do, do you? No problem. No problem. I yeah. understand. Get. I All got right. It. Bye. I got it. Hey, man. Um, yeah, I quit, bro. I've been coming here for like five weeks, and they still haven't put me up. They put me up once in Harlem. Yeah, and man. I'm looking I'm at him. I'm like, interesting. I texted him. He and talking, talking, talking. Comes back. He's walking. Hey, Tom, he walks back. He has a pint of ice cream in his hand and a spoon. And he's, and he's walking towards it, the park. Walking towards the park, the river. And I was like, <laughs> that motherfucker's <laughs> sad. <laughs> you know, pint of ice cream, bro. That kid really wanted to go up. Bro, but good for He's fine, though. I He'll put him up, back. By, by the way, and I had him. He went up the next week. He just put, I he, texted he, him, and I texted him when you guys told me the story. He put him up I finally. I had no idea that he quit because he looked at me, shook my hand, all that he shit. He went up when you were in Mexico. No, no, no. no. And, then, I, and, then, and then went up again while, when I came back. Oh, he, he went, went up, up when you came back. Yeah, he, yeah. Went up, he went up when you were in Mexico. No, 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 I thought he did. I thought he did when he came no, back. So yeah. That's what I was saying. He just, so, did, he just wasn't patient enough. Listen, exactly. He just wasn't patient and then just quit. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, and I, te- and I texted him. I go, so what the fuck? What happened? Well, I just found out you quit, and I found out you you did a whole thing. And bro, he wouldn't admit that he did like a thing. You definitely did. And I was like, and I was like, nah, dude. I keep getting told you made a little uh, announcement, and he was like, I, I'm I'm confused. Bro, I want to read his text. I don't want to be that. Nah, young. it's it's and fine. He's 16. He's, he's six fucking. But David's also a young dude. David's 21. I, I, David's 21. I, I get, that's true. I went to David. I was like, yo, you want to go up one night? And he was like, I don't know if I'm ready. I was like, bro, cash the ticket whenever you're ready. And by the way, Lil T. Kind to of be funny. fair, Tom has been doing comedy longer than how was, David. You saw David set. No, yeah, he did I, I all right. There. He did. He did all right. He 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 knows how to write. He just needs to figure out how to make some of the stuff funny, like everybody else in the beginning. But he didn't like. Um, Listen, I like baby. And T. he got a proper spot too. Like he, we went up. But he could. But the again, people. can I right finish? Now, though? By the way, can I finish? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I. I'm saying right now is the time he could have had spots. Right, right, right. And he will still get more if he's still willing to, to just buckle down and do what he's supposed to do. But um. So stupid. David was really excited to do the spot. He did the spot. Um, it was kind of a check spot. I announced that go get drinks at the bar. In the meantime, uh, 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 um, they did a little bit of did a couple jokes. Then brought up David. David did his thing while the people were there. The people more or less enjoyed it. You know Perfect. what I mean? So um, that's how we should be doing. And then he was mad excited. Like, hey, bro. He said, "Yo, bro, that was my first show." And I was just like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah." <laughs> but I was just like, Jesus, I thought you at least did a show before." <laughs> but like, that's good for him, man. That's good dope. That that was the first. Our programming at um. 
Dope, dope. Like, it's about to be crazy. Bro, we can run a pipeline to the main shows the same way. Like, someone's like, okay, do Mongo and Oxtail, do XYZ. You know what I'm saying? Do Five Minutes Thursday, this show. And then, you know what I'm saying? Maybe eventually, because shit will be booked out, you could get a guest spot on one of the fucking big ass shows that you want to do or whatever. You know what I mean? No, listen, like, that's. This club, that's what people don't understand. This has always been my vision of expansion. This club is so young. <laughs> It's been a month and a half, two months. Three it's been months? almost three months, bro. That's the thing. It's young, but it be, bro, it's been it's a young, couple weeks. It's young, but like, at the same time, like that's where so I, like, even I even told people recently. I'm like, they're like, yo, when can I get up? I'm like, bro, I'm trying to keep shit afloat. And I can't like. It's hard to say that all the time to people. Really, I'm bro, like, it's about to be the. 12th. It's a great spot because I'm particular. Does that make sense? It's a great spot because I'm OCD about how anything goes through there, mm-hmm. and that's where it's like. This guy sounds like he's trying to run a country. Bro. <laughs> bro, August, September. Putin, October, I understand bro. your struggles. Yeah. August, Ukraine, September, Ukraine, October, Ukraine. Almost three months, bro. Almost three months. And also, it's working because we have Laura. It's working because we have working Mike, Mike Harrington. Yeah. Yeah. It's working because we got no, 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 saying, because we have a team. We, we have, have a team. good team. That's what I'm saying. That's what David yeah. started. It's David, DC, but David Kevin, puts Laura, in that. David, Mike. David, Laura, Mike. Are, David. Laura, especially. By the way, I don't. I I am the. Uh, a lot of shit goes through you. A lot of shit goes through me. But Laura is everything about this club. I'm not the booker. I'm not the manager. That's Laura. So if you guys want to get booked in the club, talk Don't to her. Don't even. Her. Like, we, should, fair, we should be David, blanking her name. David, we should bleep her no, name. No, talk to her. David is literally doing exactly what he's supposed to do as someone that just started Who just comedy. started comedy. In my opinion, killing. once again. And the fact that he's doing that with us, but the fact that if you find people like that, they're like, yo, we want to fuck with you guys. It's we're young. We're relatable. It makes me never want to stop. Exactly. It's shit like that. It's just like, bro, we're creating a platform for ourselves and makes other you people, hungry. bro. Makes me, like, like, it literally makes me want to be like, oh, shit, this this is a fucking shit. I got to make this afloat. I got to keep this afloat. Bro, it's a, it's a hub, bro. And motherfuckers, there aren't too many motherfuckers. Like, if it's, you know, it is if you find those people that are willing to, like, come every week, do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Show up and we fucking just make it work. The same way it used to, we'd always be like, damn, who else would we get in the vlogs? And it was, at the end of the day, it was just always fucking us two. And sometimes it was annoying, but sometimes it was just like, you know but what? you keep going. We just, just kept fucking going. We, Kevin, in, in the same place, even when I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life right now? Kevin's in there, he's doing the podcast, you guys got it going. You guys kept showing up. We show up every week for each other, making no money. Everyone's losing money. We're just like, well, that show was a blast, though. You had a good set. You had a good set. I get to whatever it dope is. Dope about to be. You know what I mean? And it's, it's fucking be fun. fun. And Gotta I, get I, a I, fucking doped up fan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not opposed. Get a fucking doped I'm not up opposed. fan, my, bro. My company just got a van. Do they really? They did. I didn't even know that. They just got a van. 15000 before getting any of the rap. Rap accoutrement. Oh yeah, yeah. And and it's, it's, you know, dope dope got to be on the side. But no, nah, they got TVs out front though. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot. They, they got. Oh, TV. that's for advertising. Ad uh, week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, we can get a dope one. Bro, you get a little. Bro, there's definitely some seven thousand. A Volkswagen out there, bro. Sitting in the Lower East Side. A little yes. re-wrap Volkswagen. Shit, bro. Bro, we gotta do. Shit. We gotta go to like to Wisconsin. Bro, tw- no, no. Five dollars. No, comics. Not a shitty. Not shitty. Like an old lady van who got forty thousand miles on it. Five comics want to go from the stand to fucking comedy shop. Five dollars a piece, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers wanna. He, he, he's this guy's, this guy's. Get, no, no, you he's get a, doing Jamaica. Dude, Jamaica. Tell me, you know that'll pop off. Dill, you listen, get one comic and do a cool what dude. Harlem cabs called. Bro, nah, a cool, nah, 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 He's doing a dollar You telling me, Dylan? You're, you're so that's Crown Heights right there. That's Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn. So Jamaican, and you're so Jewish that you know it's a good idea. Tell me that Jewish, I don't do dollar van. Tell you, you telling me that these broke ass comics wouldn't be like, oh shit, bro, you could go from, you could doped up. This shit will take me to the stand, and there's some comic who just wants to perform. He's like, yeah, I'll fucking drive this. Honestly. Can I tell you something? That would be the wildest shit, You know what would be shit, really bro? cool, too, about that van? If you put cameras in there and you do the 10, 20-minute podcast with all the comics that want to ride there. All right. I mean, that's and a that, lot, but cool. That's a pretty that's cool. This is the only reason I invested Bro, I'm it. just talking about, bro, listen, the most we can do, actually. That was I a actually, good idea, right? Yeah, I had yeah, yeah. to invest in it. I just made his dumb, dumb idea so great. Dumb. No, that was, no, that was, a, the idea is fine. I'm just saying that's, all right, that's more work. That's paying for more <laughs> shit. Back, paying for more shit to put in the van. Excuse me. A, pay for more shit. So, we so have while we're doing that, we equipment. might as well transport these motherfuckers and pay and get paid a little. Pay, not even paid. By the we're way, paying for the van. The way, if Everything if pays tra- for itself. Everything pays for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Larry David said David, it. <laughs> David. I mean David. David. <laughs> I'm DC. being so Jewish right now. He called me David. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Doing a shitty accent doesn't get you out of things. <laughs> well. 
I think it does. But no, but you gotta, bro. That, you know what it be? I'm not charging that, comics to come to my club. That PC. could be no, not to come to your club to leave the club. Where are you going? I'm going Lower East Side. I'm going Lower East Side, bro. Fucking hippie ass white people do it all the fucking time, bro. <laughs> The best thing we could do is that DC be unsuccessful and we film it. Bro, we're I fucking did not know mavericks, DC. I didn't, bro. I did not know. Bro, we'd be fucking... I'm sick. Nah, this is the problem. People don't want to no document idea. great shit. I'm about to get a camera. I'm about to start filming. I had Fuck no that. idea I'll that send you DC the footage. stood I'll be, for listen, Dollar I'm, Cab. I'm, I'm telling you. Hey, that's fire. Listen, listen I'm, I'm interchangeable. You know what I mean? Like, mm. You get what I'm no, saying, No, you're though? searching for change. Bro, the shit we're not... Bro, we got to film all this type of shit, bro. Because the only thing that's really worth anything these days is content, bro. Is the shit that's on that camera, I bro. I feel you. So, I I know you don't want to film more shit. Da da da. You got to shit do whatever. I I'll mean, fucking get the camera. I'll film it, and listen, we can see. Dylan got nothing but time right now. That's not true. That like sort of, but sort of, but not really. Sort of, but not really. Time. This guy has time. Yo. Why do you guys do this all the time on the podcast? Yo, Dylan, Dylan has time. He has time. He, he does, but pro- it has to be proper he has time. time. Because if he said, I'm going to be like, bro, we got we should do it like I'm this. More than all and he's going to get tight. No, I mean, d- exactly. Which d- is why you don't need to be filming d- shit right now. Because d- 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 your, you your, your stand-up career is always ruining your filming career. And then your filming career is always ruining your stand-up career. And you, can, you can't chick, so you got to go be a stand-up. D- so, d- d- motherfuckers d- got to, we got to get someone to film shit. Mike, he's a good agent. <laughs> he just doesn't know, like, he doesn't leave any room in for people to talk. So I do, but I only get so many chances to talk. can't be a good agent. I only get so many chances to talk, so I'm yeah. just like, so I, I don't want anything you're selling. Uh, you yeah, just keep yeah. yeah, this lady told me I felt pressure to sign up. I'm like, bitch, you could have hung up the way, phone. That lady, the, 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 the two girls, weren't robbing him. They just wanted him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please, nah, sir. They wanted them iPads. Stop talking. They wanted them some new iPads. But, um,. I'm just saying, bro. Yo, how great would it have been if they got the iPods? But yo, bitch, we got this shit home. We got these iPods for that bitch ass motherfucker bro, right all there. All that happened <laughs> just so I can say that shit on stage and make it worth something. I guess. That's it. Everyone else is worth I nothing. Guess. I or, guess. I don't know. That shit no? would have, that shit would have started killing them. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga. You better make your fucking child abuse worth something, nigga. I, I know. That's true. Or bro. else you're just an abused child. <laughs> <laughs> yo. You're, the next time we do lower thirds, I want you to say abuse child. child. Oh my god, not just, 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 that's just, just, so just, wild. Just, just. But I'm just saying, fellas, I feel like we're on the verge of something great. We're scrappy. We're making it happen, bro. I don't really feel like too many people are moving like us. We co- we got every demographic. Don't just covered. sit here and suck our dicks. I'm not sucking our dicks, bro. I'm being for no, real. No. And the reason why I'm saying this, bro, the reason why I'm saying this, shout out right, to our Canada listeners, our went, UK listeners. I was looking at the graphs today, bro. Listen to me. I, I I support people and I go in. I drop in on other shit people are doing. And I can see, and sometimes I walk away thinking to myself, God damn, I'm thankful I know Dylan. God damn, I'm thankful I know, God damn, I'm thankful I'm me. You know what I'm saying? Because other people, as bro, we're all over the place, but when I see we that too. To, I see that too. When we need on to me. do it, bro, we get it the fuck together when we need to, bro. No, for sure. That's also, like, I, I, that's what I said, I think I said on the last week's episode, like, have, you gotta have your own crew, because they push you, same way you push me with jokes, and like, and... But we, it's like we used to push each other with filming vlogs. Even, but even well, you really used to push me. That she used to get my nerves. But uh, but, but fucking even with black ass, when you were filled with black ass, he was like, "Yo, I might need help with the now? equipment sometimes." All right, that's fine, bro. Like we're on this journey together in a sense. A lot of people don't want to yeah. look. And at it's it hard to that. remember. It's hard to remember. It's hard that to remember that because you go no, on stage really by yourself. But yeah, Kevin, even that's just changing. But but also, I'm I'm listen. I I know why you said that. Right. But here's, hey, the Kevin. Thing. here's the thing. Can have a barker run and runs like Mr. Sanchez. The no, running lights is fine. I'm fine with the running lights. I don't even I run. I never done. ran a light in dope. Dog. I wish you would keep running lights. I never, never ran, a, ran a light. Never and ran I, and a by light. By the way, should have. Honestly, honestly. By the way, should have. Yes, you don't run the light at the, at the I wrong don't, time. I don't run the light at dope up because I respect my body and you, you told know, me. I'm so don't, let's not, let's not go over that narrative. But the second thing is this. I've never really barked. And the truth is, the only reason why I bark at doped up is because it's, 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 it's DC there. No, it's not even our shit. Yeah. If I couldn't, like, I need to be with somebody to bark. I, I know you've said that before. I get it. I, I can't do it, like, by myself. That's Yo, just DC corny. showed up on his birthday. And that's where we're here. Yeah, but also country. nobody loved him enough to, like, find <laughs> anything for his birthday. <laughs> Was it like I so, like, it's not like he had anything shoes. else to do. That motherfucker's going to be out for his shoes. birthday. Your 32nd birthday. What the fuck? What the I'm fuck is that? I don't care. You better be at a fucking comedy club, motherfucker. I hope so. Yeah. I'm just I saying. hope so. I hope or 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 but what I'm saying is, bro, we scrappy and we we pull it to we pull it together, bro. Like that's that's what I'm saying. When we need to, as much as we're here, we're there. When it's like, all right, we got to keep the pod going. We, we can't do, just not have a should, pod. We should do the mystery gang as our Halloween joint Halloween costumes. I'll be Shaggy, 
You can be Scooby. Fuck you. And you can be the van. Fuck you. I'm I'm gonna be the fucking what's the what's the blonde dude's name? The rich dude with the with the bad bitch. Fred. Nigga, I'm gonna right. be I'm gonna I'm be, be that. I'm, nigga, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, honestly, Wilma. Honestly, can I be one Not of the I'll, Wilma? I'm gonna be, honestly, I'm gonna be, I, I wanna be uh, the dude. I don't, I don't know who. I wanna Velma? be the dude. Velma. I wanna be the dude who said like I would have got away with it if it wasn't for your pesky kids. And your oh family. yeah, yeah, yeah. You I wanna be. be a a villain. Villain. I wanna be one of them niggas. I wanna be one of the villains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at your stupid joke now, dummy. You made a black and fat joke, asshole. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you did. You called him Scooby because he's brown. You call me <laughs> uh, the van because no, I'm fat. No, because he was saying scrappy yo, a lot. He looks like scrappy and like. Yo, but I did more push-ups than you yesterday. Uh, 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 yo, yo, yeah. yo, let's go. Head to head? Head to head. No, like like my head on your head. Yes, let's we, go. We have to like put our heads together. Let's go. To you know what we used to do in the army? We used to do um, the I dumbest push-ups in the world. talking about the army. There's so many fucking. We used to do like this. We used to get in trouble. Yeah. And they would make us do push-ups. And then when we were being really retarded, they would make us put our feet on the other guy's shoulder. And, like, like we all have to line up. It would be, like, 40 of us. And if we ever... Oh, yeah. That shit, that yeah. shit is hard. That shit was... That's some hard that shit That shit was do. hilarious. That's a lot of weight. we were all drunk. It's like a human centipede But we're shit. drunk, though. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. And then one of my... Yeah, but, nigga, you got heavy feet, nigga. I'm looking at you right <laughs> now, bro. I can your feet on my shoulders, bro. Brutal hands, brutal feet. What? Yo, bro, let me tell you Yo, something. Like, can you imagine being the dude who has Kevin on you? Sergeant, this ain't fair. No, nah, because I, I, I was I was way thinner than I was not, than I am now. Does the dude at the back have it the worst? It's not really all the I waiters. Uh, it's, it's the, the mind. I guess it's the middle guy. The mi- the I just want to say because either the middle or the back guy has it the worst. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, man. what a good time though. What a good time, bro. You gotta. You really, you really should do that, bro. I need you to start talking about the What's military. What's the worst thing that happened to you bro? in the army? <sighs> Honestly, I got so lucky, bro. That's what I'm saying. But the, see, you got to bring it up ironically, like, right? Because everything you say on stage is forgivable if you just like, uh, after ten minutes of fucking going in on being wild Kev. So I was in the military for a little bit. It's a yeah, different. I don't you open have. Up, I don't have thirty that, minutes on that, stage no, to work stop, this stuff out. You, stop saying that. You can if you stop saying I'm gonna get. I'm gonna ask black ass for five minutes. Nigga, ask for time, bro. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is. Try to bring it up because I would like, like you. <laughs> yeah, but that's not how that works right now for me. It, it yeah. really isn't. Dylan, every time hey, you let told me, get... me to do five minutes of back guys, then I'd be like, please like me at six. Please like me at seven. I always I always said that. This guy who said, come to St. Mars, yo, can you do seven minutes tomorrow? I'm going to get there and I'm like, I need 10. I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to get there and I'm going to say, I need 10. I do it, it all it, the time. I, I, I will say this. I was getting upset at some points because I was like, you gotta, you, like, sometimes you got to ask. You have to ask, and Even bro. as like, someone who like, you know, runs a, a spa and runs a club, sometimes I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Why is this person not... Ha- ha- sometimes I'm like, why hasn't this person asked to do yeah. my spot? Isn't that crazy? Because like you that. know you... I'm like, that kind of hurts. Why that, hasn't this yeah. person asked to do my spot? Really? Yeah. That's you got to ask, motherfucker. But you got to... You know what's so crazy? I had a whole conversation with Nico like a week and a half ago. Nico, Nico White. White. Shout out to Nico White. Um, but And I was just talking to him over the phone, right? And... um. We were just talking about it, and I asked him something. I knew he was probably going to say no, but I asked him anyway, right? And he told me, he said what he said. He told me what he told me. And um, it, he, he actually, funny thing, so he also cryptic. brings it up. He's like, tell, tell he said like, what he said. He told he me said, what he told he me. He actually <laughs> said, tell, tell the tall one I don't hate him. I was like, talking about Dylan. He was like, yeah, tell him I don't hate him. Um, stop being weird. <laughs> I don't feel anything I, bad about oh my you. God. Just, but just like, he's like, just chill. Maybe, it's I, all good. I, 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 I hope all of, to all the fans out there, you ever like, I don't want to explain this. Like, you like, know when you're in school, and you like you just do something, and then like in that one class, it's like just how they remember you. It's one of those things with Nico. I'm like, bro, it was one of those things where I was like, you said you you've always not been like you've always just been in your own little zone. Yeah. And then I'm like, I just thought you didn't fuck with me. And he was like, Nah, bro, it's all that straight shit. I was like, Oh yeah, cool. And I moved on with my life. I'm like Nico wasn't that serious to me either. <laughs> Uh, well, you made it well, seem serious on the pod, on the pod That's why he was saying, he's like, what yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> it's just, like a hard thing to say. Like, I understand why yeah. you just said that, but like on the pod, you made it seem you like. definitely did. Even to me, I was just like, all right, Sorry. I didn't even know you cared that much. He said, he was just like, he just said, we just said we're hanging up. And he was just like, yeah, tell him, tell him I don't hate him. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, that's, that's a good impression. You guys be hanging out, huh? I, I keep forgetting. Talk, sometimes I talk, he gives, he gives advice. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, because I, I be me, and he'll be like, you know what I mean, like X Y Z. But it was something regarding the oh, comic strip, me. and he was like, "Let me know how X Y Z goes down. If not, X Y Z hit me, and I'll give you a correct email address, and you know, just like whatever." Mm. No. But he was he was helpful, nice too. Nico, so like, you got no, a young dude, a white soul. 
I definitely told him to come through and do doped up. He didn't know that that was that was our shit. I said, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, it's fucking dope. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, whenever you're Laura can, it would be dope to have him on a show. Did you tell him the white one, the, the tall one owns it? No, I didn't tell him. I said that's our venue. We, we run it. Well, <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, forget. You see what I mean? I I yeah, yo, yo, remember? Remember yeah, yeah. is his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. listen, man. Every corporation has a Mark Cuban. There's only one Mark Cuban. I mean, I wouldn't call the first call as a corporation. Yes, I like that. I like that you did that. Yes, I'm, I'm all for that. I love See, the bravado you can't of it. it. Y'all I do. Can't fight it. I do. No, I'm not, I don't I care. Do, but I don't care. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna be but, one of the biggest comedians in the is, world. This, this, is, this is first of all. First of all. First I'm of Belma. all. Everyone. First of all, oh I'm gonna be I'm the most spooky. famous comedian. Both of you guys know. Second of all, I don't think those comedies. Are, this is all. This is our shit. This shit ain't happening every week unless we don't DC, want it. You will be one of the best. Okay. Let's One's be real my here. Openers. There's there's a lot of motherfuckers who would would want to work. A lot of motherfuckers not gonna put in work all the time to fucking make shit happen. That's try true. to be a part of something. This is definitely all our shit. And until somebody put a couple thousand dollars into this bitch, apart from Dylan, yeah, th- okay, th- apart th- apart from the, the pain people out his ass, I totally understand that. But we've all been losing money on this fucking show every week. Every single one of us. Why? Because we love it and we know it can grow. Yeah, every week. And that's it. Just started making. Oh no no no! Me Listen, and it ain't nothing to write home about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. you told your dad how much you make. He's gonna be probably not responding. Right, text. Right, relax. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Yeah. All right, why don't you text your dad? <laughs> you know what I mean? That was wrong. Dylan. He's gonna be like Dylan. No, Dylan, no, that no, was no. fucked. I'm gonna, even, I'm gonna DC keep talking. It doesn't even matter. Up. It doesn't even matter because I don't have a dad to tell me, yo, that's shit money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His dad <laughs> is good. Hey, man, like, <laughs> I have my brother. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I'm a Jesus, bro. But yeah, but that that's. I will say this. I'm just happy it's now breaking even. <laughs> and, and, I, and I can at least pay for people's Ubers you, home. I'll be you, happy when there's surplus. But yeah, yeah. surplus would be nice. I mean, Ke- by the way, nice. we could have had surplus because of Kevin. <laughs> we could have diverted some we business. Could've, we could have 15 surpluses, <laughs> 15 bands of surplus. These and Kevin said, "Nah." Listen, because I don't trust that nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I don't trust that guy. Not because not, 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 not me. He's a shaky warrior, though. The president. Nah, 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 nah. shaky warrior. But anyway, but anyway, let's be professional. Let's be professional. Let's be professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. also, you know, yeah, we're actually good at being vague right now. We're actually pre- doing pretty good at being vague. Um, <laughs> throw more attention. <laughs> Do you guys? So I was thinking about this judge. Yeah. Let's let's end this. <laughs> okay. No, no. All right, no. all right. I mean, sorry. I've been thinking about this so, bailiff. You were supposed to finish that. This is so I love that. No, but do you have like a hot take on it? Do you have something like, or? Yo, I was just started thinking like, like one. What did she do to get murdered? I would love to know more about it that. But the, the wife. But the, yeah. the wife. Yeah. What did she do to get murdered? Um, and two, like I started thinking about my life, and the many times I've wanted to kill people I loved. Mm-hmm. Right, like I know we all felt like that. You have you grew up with brothers, right? And yeah, yeah, Jamaican parents will say to you that they're gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, but like no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, fuck the parents. Yeah, yeah, just you people. Yeah, like yeah. your siblings. Like you grew up with siblings um, too, I've Dylan. I never wanted to murder every any one of my siblings, but um, you've never wanted. Like, I do. I do know what it's like to have vitriol for someone that's very close to you. You're you like, never I, wanted to suffocate a sibling and then like resuscitate them. No, I got two no. older brothers. My brother's pretty much to himself. Um, my oldest brother's mad funny. Maybe like fuck with them. Yeah, but I've never not said I've never felt like that. But we grew up in different circumstances. I it's, spit in my sister's soda once. Oh, that's wow. Cool. That's Does awful. she know that? No, that is fucking. Can you awful. call her and tell her you yeah, did you that? Should, you gotta I call her. Never. She's been too nice to me. Huh? She's been too nice to you right now. Right now she's a grandma these days. She's a grandma. I mean, more oh, I thought you meant like okay. Aww. Shout out to Dar, but um, so. Yeah, bro. I don't. But here's the thing, though. There's you say you're most likely to be murdered by somebody that you know. She really yeah. pissed me off that night, by the way. Huh? She really pissed me off that night. Oh, what she do? She hit your just camera. Be, she's being, no, it wasn't one of those. We lived together. We were a kid. You saw when you lived together. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. More like not like in New York. We like, yeah, yeah. She was pissing me off. She was being a bitch, and then she, she's like, went, spit she got like a some. diet coke and poured it in, in like a cup, and she like, went to the kitchen. And I just went. <laughs> My spit looks the same. But it was like watery spit. That's disgusting, dude. Bro. That really is goofy. honestly that's the worst thing I think you could do to a yeah. human. Being. First, he rubs his dick on a pillow, and then he spits. You rub some. Shirt. You rub a dick <laughs> yeah, on a pillow. He's mad gosh, vindictive. <laughs> to who? I don't know, so I'm trying to. Uh, to some uh, chick that broke his heart. He wanted to date her. She wanted to date oh. him. Oh, yeah, he said, "Man, yeah, I told you that." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, I knew it was gonna be the last time we fucked. And I was like, fucking in her dorm room, and while she was washing up, I just like took Yo. my free cum. And it was like on my dick, and I just like rub my pillow on her pillow. Sorry, her pillows Ugh. on it. And she even was that's like, how soft she, I remember was. her even being like, "Wait, I'm getting a towel this time because I just cleaned my laundry." 
And I was like, oh, I got like four months before she cleans it again. Man. Oh, four months. Jesus, what a dirty bird. I wish you did it and say in that face, though. Man. 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 <laughs> Man. 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 All right, what the fuck are we doing? We but do I will say Yo, this. this is a good time to do like a Reddit, bro. There's so many crazy stories on Reddit to just pull up a subreddit. Like, no, and no, just no, fucking... listen, we're getting there. This, this, the show's bro, growing. I, I... I'll say this. With the show growing, guys, thank you so much for watching. We are at, like I said, me and Kevin are at Skankfest weekend. This episode is sponsored by VaporDNA.com. I got the shirt. I will be wearing this during my fight against uh, Paco. So make sure to tune in live to my Skankfest fight. Go to MintComedy.com. You can buy all the, I think, you can buy, sorry, you can buy like the whole weekend for like $40 to stream. So just stream the whole weekend. Also, this, this fight is going to be on pay-per-view. So make sure you get your tickets. And um, we'll see it. And I think it's on that pay-per-view I just mentioned. Uh-huh. And um, so go go see me fight Paco, and I'm um, I'm coming for the title this time. And guys, shout out to Zia Farms again, Zia uh-huh. Extra- Extraordinary Farms. See me at Skate Fest. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some goodies. So guys, come say hang out. I'm gonna um, say that this was a um, a very interesting episode. Wait, I wanna. All right, I wanna, right, yeah, I wanna say something. Christ, bro, I, wanna, I, I wanna. I almost the time I almost killed my brother. Oh my god. All right, let's wow. end on this. So wait, no, 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 let's end on that. And the next episode, he talked about it. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Cliffhanger, bro. I almost killed my brother. All right, so my brother, like, this is like two years into him training in mixed martial arts six hours a day, every day. Not fucking like, around. He's nasty. Wow. Huh? He's nasty. Yeah. nasty with it. And he used to do the same. So you couldn't kill him anyways. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. By surprise, I could have. With like tools, like, like no, no, with like, like, oh, you're not gonna want to fight to the death, but yeah. I'm willing to kill you right now. Like a bitch ass way, you could kill him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, what happened? Like a bitch ass. I, I mean, I wouldn't call it a bitch ass way if you yeah. kill somebody. No, 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 you like, kill somebody by surprise, it's a bitch ass way. Bitch not, ass a, way. not by surprise. Like, I was willing to fight you, but you didn't know I was willing nah, to fight you to the death. Way. If you surprise murder somebody, it's a bitch ass way. Bitch ass way. Yeah. yeah. Every every murder is a surprise, pretty surprise, much. Surprise! I'm a murder. Like you know. What every I mean? murder is a surprise. Is it really? Pretty much. You think so? Yeah. It's every. Every. every every murder is every. a surprise. Even if you're nah, some people had it coming. Not, yeah, they so, don't, but <laughs> even they were surprised they died <laughs> that day. Even they're like, I didn't see this every coming. Murder That's a fire so. Every wait, murder is a wait, surprise. Wait, wait, That's wait, a wait, fire. Wait. Now you wanted something. Wait, this is gonna be a clip. <laughs> is every murder is a surprise? Ev- is every murder a surprise? <laughs> because the second you get murdered, that you're surprised you're getting you're like, killed. Oh my god, this is happening every but time. No, but, because like, let's say you're suicide. Even nah. then, a lot nah, of people nah. don't. Because you're, you're suicidal, you but know that's it's not coming. murder, though. Surprise to other that's people. That's why it's called suicide. But you tell me, everyone who's ever been stabbed has been surprised they got stabbed. Yes. They didn't know, like, oh, yes. like I deserve that one. Yes. Nah, bro. Yes. Not outside of jail. And, yeah. Outside of jail. Yes. Even gang what about, members what about, are like, like, oh my god, I can't believe this is. People are retarded. People don't understand. That, people are emotionally. Uh, 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 stunted. They don't understand that the emotions and how they react to things have consequences. Well, I just did something you, that so I could get shot. How'd you almost kill your brother? Huh? How'd you almost kill your brother? Uh, so for like a year straight, this motherfucker, we all three bo- three men at this point in one bedroom, right? Because we live in a two bedroom apartment in the projects. Like we don't have our own room, you know. So he'll come in after at six in the morning, eight in the morning, whatever time. And he would just turn on the light and then walk out. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I could hear him brushing his teeth. Yo, there's like forms of bullying that just doesn't make sense, <laughs> bro. And like, I'm like, and we were yelling at him, yo, turn off the light. He goes, all right, my bad. I'm coming back in. That's why I didn't turn it off. Oh. But he wouldn't come back in for 45 minutes. So he will eat breakfast, take a shower, my brother him, used to do the same pack his shit. bag. And I'm like, Click clanking and shit. Six a.m. Six a.m. Making smoothies. And I don't even care that you're doing all that, but the fact you have the light on, yeah, yeah. Like you can't be aware of how shitty what you're doing is. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So do your morning routine, bro. Don't be shitty about. Don't it. be too shitty about it. Like try to have some, you know, Go on. consideration for people. You know. Now, I'm. A, it's like two years of this, bro. Maybe a year. I'm not sure. And I'm like, I couldn't take it no more. Like I thought about buying a gun. Like, not to shoot him, but to shoot the light bulbs so you know how serious I am. <laughs> Kevin, you live in New York. There's a pe- there's people above you. That was not none of my concern. I was being very <laughs> considerate. 
Like my but brother was. It was a feeling of I want to murder this. Everyone's had a feeling so of like, I want to murder this person. So then, so what was your solution? My solution was I got up when he, I waited till he walked into the room. I wrapped my, I took my shirt, wrapped it around my hand, and I smashed the light bulb. <laughs> and I just stared at him. He goes, "Dim." <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, bro, this dude yeah. thought out his steps, bro. Yeah. Oh. I wrapped my fist up and I just. Yo, I you planned that for a month, bro. For... You know when Peter Griffin punches the wall and they, <laughs> <laughs> bro, and he goes, he goes, shut up, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, bro, he goes, hey, nigga, you just could have just turned that shit off, <laughs> and which made me even angrier. <laughs> Motherfucker, so good of you, bro, so good of you. That bro. light, by the way. Stood like the shattered in the thing in the in the thing <laughs> for months, bro. <laughs> hey, can I tell you something? Oh. Me and my other brother, best sleeps of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me tell you one more story. Go ahead. Another time, I almost killed my one of my other brothers, and this is like oh, way more God. serious. This is way more serious. So, um, I don't even know what job I had, but I just remembered that I was buying a lot of things. Like I was buying like. Uh, everything I cost too, like Ray Bans. I was buying like expensive suits. I had no money. responsibilities. Like I just had a job. There's money, nothing and, spent, bro. And, and I was just spending everything on no myself. Rent, whatever. I bought me a MacBook. Like you know, did not feel me. Bought your first MacBook. By the bro. way, by the way, that shit is so fire. I my first think, one. I don't think I've ever seen Kevin use a computer once in his life. I see him. No, he yes, uses, you have. No, he uses yes, it you at have. work. I don't think you know how to use a computer, buddy. You see me work here. I work from. I work uh, from right, here. Right. Yeah. Now do, does he does he look lost when he's using it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Ken, you type like perturbed? this. I don't type like that. Type like this. I don't type like that, but but, I, but like I do. But I but Yo, I, I type. And let me tell you something. Yo, if you ever see Kevin with the glasses in the computer, and, and I don't know why you look extra big, because you always hunch up. You're like, oh, bro, Kevin's so funny, bro. I was like, sometimes you're not even doing anything, bro. But when you just on that laptop, put my notes in. <laughs> I know you are. Yeah, you look so you lost in a computer. Yeah. You bought a MacBook just to have it. You really look lost, did, bro. Basically. You just be on that computer, bro. Just, just All right, like, so you almost like kill your brother. Around. So <laughs> yeah, my brother, I didn't know at the time, but I didn't, my brother was addicted to pain meds. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Honestly, I was, a very, I was in big denial about it. Yeah. I was like, nah, oh, nah from the he's just smoking me. weed. Yeah. But then he was like stealing from my mom. Like, Damn, I don't even know people who smoke weed that rob their moms. Nah, usually not. They just keep the money. They usually for rob like the kitchen then... cabinet. Oh, not for like nah, not for that man. much. So then one day, bro. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a this is wild, bro. Yeah. I'm, are you gonna realize a part of me that you you didn't keep know? Going. So I'm coming back from work, happy as fuck. Can't wait to just chill. Had a long shift, you know, and. My, I see my brother Pete. He goes, Yo, Kev. I see his eyes. I'm like, What happened? I can see his eyes from a block away. You know, and he's looking at me like, Oh, that's Kev. And I'm like, Something, Something's up. I go up to Pete. I said, What's up, bro? He goes, Yo, don't get mad. I said, Bro, that's the wrong way to start this conversation. Yeah. He goes, All right, it's about Rocky. I said, What Rocky do? It has nothing to do with me. Other brother, too. Other brother. Yeah. And he goes, Kev. He took your Mac, and then now he's he's crying about it upstairs. And he's like, he can't get it back. And he's scared about what you're going to do. And you're the oldest. Is he the youngest? He's the youngest. Bro. He's the baby, bro. Anyone in my family, would have, my brother would black on me. I would black on my brother. Like, what? Yeah, bro. And this is like a big deal in my household, bro. You're, that I Mac. Of course. That what Mac. Your household, bro. If you stole my MacBook to buy drugs, bro, yeah. I'd be very upset. I'd, I'd be mad, bro. bro. So then... And then, motherfucker, did you delete my history first? <laughs> so then I go up to him. I'm like, where's my where's my Mac, nigga? He goes, he's crying. I'm like, you're not, uh, you're, bro, I'm not even mad at you. Just let me know what where happened. The crying so then he, annoy me. So then, yeah, like, so he used to hang out with this dude named James. He's uh, this big doofy dude. And they go fuck up a free lunch. I, so was like, I'm like, I went up to James. Like, where's my, where's my computer? And he goes, oh, where's my Mac? And he goes, I don't got it. Your brother took it. I don't know what he did with it. I said, nah. He said, you got it. You better get it. He goes, I don't have it, Kev. And if I did, I would have gave it to you right now. And I'm like, doing the math in my head, I'm like, do I stall on this dude? 
But if I stall on them, that means every day I got beef in this neighborhood, right? And I'm about to get out. Like, I'm about to join the military. Like, out the hood. So I go back to my place, and I start looking around, and I realize all my Ray-Bans are gone. My watches are gone. Some of my shoes are missing. Well, you were looking for the MacBook. You, Rocky sold more of your shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I realized he w- he's been stealing from me. Slowly. Slowly. And I just be leaving things around. Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, all right. Nick so, sold my condoms. So, <laughs> so my brother's like, what are you going to do to me? I said, bro, honestly, bro, nothing. I ain't do nothing for like 48 hours. I waited to, well, this, he was, <laughs> then I walked in, I wrapped my hand, <laughs> <laughs> and I beat the living shit out of him. Okay. So, one day, I see him acting suspicious, and he takes a black pattern and he walks out, I'm going to follow this dude. I follow him, this is, I didn't even know this exists. By the way, I would love to see Spy Kev. Because Kev is the most heavy-footed motherfucker I know. No, you don't. No, I'm not. You don't have no he's idea. Kinda, he's kind of light-footed. I'm light-footed and a like motherfucker. Is, no, actually, for a bigger dude, you're yeah, heavy. Yeah, yeah. I'm very yeah. light I mean, uh, not, not, not heavy-footed. I feel like you're clumsy. I'm, I can be clumsy, yes. Uh, unless, Kevin does not unless ride I, unless electric I'm on a mission. scooters. Unless I'm on a mission. Okay, keep going. So, I see him, and I didn't even really know this place existed, but it was like this little shoe place, and he was trying to sell my LeBrons. Now, there was some old dingy LeBrons I didn't care about. Yeah. But I was like, oh, okay. That's what you be doing. So then my mother left to the Bronx that uh, that weekend, a couple of days later, whatever. Whatever it was, I don't remember the time frame. And I went up to him, and I, I threw him some duct tape. I said, wrap your legs, nigga. Put soap in a pillow and fucking beat these And he, he wrapped his own legs. And I took a wooden bat. No, you didn't. And I started smashing his legs. No, you didn't. Now, now I had some sympathy. I did it with the skinny part of the wooden bat. Oh yeah. my god, that's even worse. More, less like. Wind. Yeah, it was a lot of, it was a lot of um, vibrations shins? going through. A lot of shins hitting. He's Bro, screaming? cause um, yeah. <laughs> so that shit was like music to my ears. And was he screaming? I'm sorry. This nigga's an old Italian Long Islander. Bro. Um. He what, was, I don't what were you wanna, saying in the moment? You got you, you got to be saying slick I shit. I don't. I was like, just like this is what you did this to yourself. <laughs> you some, did this. You, it's the worst thing you my ass brother, beat. That's the size. My brother does shit like that. Like, like he'll he'll do shit where like, all right, I'm gonna make an example out of you. Type what, of shit. What? Your brother beat your ass? No, my my older brother. But like, he's like that kind of person. He's the kind of person that'll be like, all right, you got you got five seconds to not be in my sight. Yeah. You're not out of no, my sight in five seconds. My brother's eight years older than me. I'm so it's picking like, up this piece of thing, and I'm going to, like, my brother's years, like There that. was many years where like, it's like, if my brother like, punched like me that. as hard as he would have bro- killed me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. My brother's definitely. I've seen him do it to, like, uh, other. My brother's my brother's a wild dude. A wild guy? Like, he's not, like, crazy wild, but, like, he's, he's like, he doesn't take well to th- kindly to threats. And he's the kind of person that, like, he's just that kind of person. The kind of person that would be like, so what we I doing? saw him. I, I wrapped my hands up. You know what I'm saying? And I put it behind my back, and I waited for him to walk past, and I punched the shit out of him. Like he would tell that kind of story. Yeah. The way I, you're telling. I you just didn't I mean? want him to run. I wanted him to take that. That doesn't make you less murderous. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what you're trying to say right now. No, bro. no, no. It does make me less murderous, <laughs> no, it bro. 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 Yes, because I'm like a I'm like a bear, no, bro. If I you see why. you running, no. I'm gonna try to kill you for real. No, no, no. But if you stay there and take no, your lickings, you are psycho, bro. bro hold on. What's that tape you had, Dylan? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not rubbing my legs. No, no, no. This, this is what you did, bro. You remember when fucking you remember Bronx Tale when Christopher Walken walks in the fucking room and he locks the door and he, he goes, says, nah, "Now you, you can't, can't leave. leave." That's what you just did. Yeah. Right. Wrap your legs, now bro. You, <laughs> all right, guys. This is doped up and dying. The Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. Bro. With that story, this is definitely doped up and dying, bro. Fuck, <laughs> I also bro. bit my tongue on that, so it still wasn't a perfect. <laughs> I, and he fucked it up a too. Dangerous show, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, we love show. you guys. guys this is the round table of Guys, if you're at Skank Fest, thank you so much for partying with us. And we're going to have a lot of Skank Fest videos <laughs> and podcasts coming for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Peace. Amber Heard did it. <laughs>